Hey guys, this video is going to be a quick tutorial on how to integrate your RPG character builder sprite sheets into RPG Maker MV. So let's just get started. RPG Maker MV, if you don't know, is available on Steam. It's free. You can generate a variety of sprite sheets. For this example, I'm just going to generate a random sprite because it doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to save it to my disk. So once you've saved the sprite sheet, you'll notice that it saves it with a certain file name. That file name is a dollar sign at the front. You can see here's the, here's the generated sprite sheet. And then there's it will be like dollar sprite sheet. And then at the end of the file name will be a bracket with the number eight. And just in front of that, a percentage sign. And it saves in PNG. So you're going to copy that from your disk and you're going to put that into the image characters directory of your project. You can see here a bunch of previously created sprite sheets, but that's where you want to put it. So there you see, I pasted it in and there it is. Now if you want to, uh, this is where you can actually rename the file. So you don't want to touch the dollar at the front and you don't want to touch anything after the percentage sign. So the, in this case, just the part that says sprite sheet and you can call that whatever you want you know my character or jim or bill or bob or whatever your characters are called so i'm just going to call it my call random sprite sheet so now the sprite sheet file is in your project and you'll be able to open it up from inside your RPG Maker software. So you'll see actually in the help section of the tool, I have gone over this. Um, I'm making this video because I think a lot, of, a lot of you out there didn't see this, um, but you can see it kind of repeats what I'm showing you in this video, copy the file to the image character directory, how to rename the file. And then the most important thing is this piece. You need to install one plugin to make this work and that's Modern Algebra's Extra Movement Frames plugin. I'll post, I'll paste the link in the description. It's a free plugin, free to use for commercial and non-commercial software. So then you're going to want to go ahead once you've got that plugin and install that into your project plugins directory, which you'll find under your main project directory in the JS plugins folder. You can see I have a copy. There it is, extra movement frames dot JS. So what this does is, is it, it overrides the RPG maker default of three frames per each direction on the sprite sheet. Since this sprite sheet we have is an eight frame sprite sheet. So this will allow it to correctly draw and render the character as, as through each frame as it's moving. So now I'm just going to create a test map just to show this working in my project. So I'm just going to create a quick, quick map. And then I will put the... So first make sure that you enable the plugin. Here you can see extra movement frames, plugin is set to on. There's a couple of extra options. The plugin also supports, a, you can choose the idle frame, which is nice. And the speed at which it cycles through the eight, the eight images. But the defaults are probably fine just, just to begin with. So create a new event. And then you're going to go ahead, change the image, and you'll see your sprite sheet. You can see all the sprite sheets here. Now what you'll notice is you see how the rectangle for the frame that you're choosing for the event appears to be overlapping multiple pieces. This is just going to always happen when you're in design mode. But with that plugin, it'll actually pick up just the first frame and draw it properly on the screen. So pick which one you want, the down, left, right, or up starting frame in this case we'll just we'll just do the down one and then for this case i'm just going to give it random movement so you can actually see it moving in all the different directions and drawing properly and there you have it there's my character and there's our event moving randomly 
with the sprite sheet that we created. Obviously, you can do the same thing with your main with your playable characters. Just do that in the in the actors section of the system database. And you can see here in this middle section, do the same thing. Select the character, pick the sprite sheet. And again, it draws it a little funny on the preview, but with the plugin, it'll work properly once your game's running. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Please click subscribe if you like the channel and join me on twitch.tv where I'm regularly doing indie game development and game playthroughs. You can also check out my previous games and current development efforts on my website over at clear.games.com.